Artemisiae of Caria was a queen who ruled the Kingdom of Caria in the 5th century BC. She was born around 500 BC and was the only woman to ever lead a navy in the Battle of Salamis in 480 BC. Artemisia was born in the city of Halicarnassus in Caria, which is now Bodrum, Turkey. Her father was the king of Caria, Ligdemus, and she was considered the heir to the throne after her father's death. However, because she was not yet of age, power was taken over by a tyrant named Artemisia II. After reaching adulthood, Artemisia I became the Queen of Caria and took control of the Carian navy. When the Persian war against Greece occurred, Artemisia decided to join the Persian forces under the command of King Xerxes I. In 480 BC, Persian King Xerxes led his army across the Hellespont Strait and attacked Greece. The Persian forces succeeded in conquering most of Greece's territories, including the cities of Athens and Sparta. One epic moment in the Persian Empire's ambition to expand its power and control over Greece was the Battle of Salamis, which is an important event in world history. The Battle of Salamis took place on the morning of September 29, 480 BC. The Persian fleet, led by King Xerxes, consisted of around 600 until 800 ships, while the Greek fleet, led by Themistocles, consisted of around 300 until 400 ships. During the battle, Artemisia and her forces faced a fierce attack from the Greek fleet led by Themistocles. With her tactical skills, she managed to attack and destroy several Greek ships, including their own ship disguised as a Persian ship. At the same time, the Persian fleet was experiencing difficulties and chaos. However, Artemisia cleverly used the situation to strengthen her position in the eyes of Xerxes. She successfully suggested to Xerxes to attack and surround the Greek ships in the Bay of Salamis, while actually knowing that the strategy would lead to defeat for Persia. Artemisia's cunning tactics impressed Xerxes, who praised her bravery and even called her the best man among his troops. Initially, the Greek fleet retreated towards the island of Salamis as they realized that the Persian fleet had much greater strength. However, Themistocles had a plan to defeat the Persian army by utilizing the topography of the Salamis Strait. He knew that the strait was very narrow and winding, so the Persian fleet couldn't move freely. Themistocles decided to arrange the Greek fleet at the western end of the Salamis Strait so the Persian fleet would be trapped inside the strait and easily attacked. When morning arrived, the Persian fleet entered the Salami Strait and began attacking the Greek fleet. They then performed confusing maneuvers, causing many Persian ships to collide with each other. In the chaotic conditions, the Greek fleet managed to attack and destroy a large number of Persian ships. The smaller and faster Greek ships also managed to avoid attacks from the larger and slower Persian ships. After several hours of battle, the Greek fleet won a great victory and the Persian forces retreated. This defeat was a severe blow to the Persian forces, as a large number of their ships were destroyed and their troops lost their spirit. The Greek victory at Salamis was one of the most important victories in the Greek-Persian War. It allowed Greece to maintain its independence from the Persian power and initiate the process of Greece's rise as the main maritime power in the Mediterranean. Although Persia ultimately lost the battle, the courage and tactical skill of Artemisia were highly respected by both sides. She became a legend in military history and is considered one of the most famous female leaders in history.